Ooh, another great run. It's getting really, really hot. Um, temperatures are climbing. I didn't get out till late because I had a Zoom conference um, this morning for a possible guest uh, the show, and so I didn't get running till like it's probably like 11 something, and the temperatures were already in the 90s. So just preparing myself because it's going to get eventually in the hundreds, 115 to be exact, sometimes 120. Anyway, as usual, when I run, I um, it's a meditation in motion. And I was thinking that I've had the transition radio show since uh, 2012. Um, I was working full time um, for Genesis, and that's a rehab company that um, has many different contracts ranging from assisted living facilities um, to nursing homes, outpatients, you name it. But I wanted to do something for the community. At the time, I was very much pro-trans, and I wanted to showcase trans individuals, their talent, and kind of create something so that people would really get to know trans people. And I figure what best way to do that than by interviewing people from all over the world, which is what I did. If you go back to the beginning, actually I've had a channel since 2006, so 2012 is when I started the, the uh, Transition Radio Show. Um, two times a week, holding a full-time job, and it was like really taxing because it was like I had to really work hard to find people to showcase people two times a week. Nothing has changed except for the fact that now I don't promote the transgender agenda. On the contrary, I try to promote the voices that are not being heard. Um, and I now was doing three times a week. I've gone back down to twice a week because it's getting to be a bit much. Um, I have other things that I do contrary to people's belief. You know, um, There's certain things about my life that I choose not to share because I don't trust you guys. But, you know... There's uh, the, the hypothetical thing where people think that I'm doing this because I'm unhappy, because I, whatever. Whatever excuses you all are trying to, to put forth, ask me and I will tell you. I do this because it's my passion. I love it. I love journalism. I love to interview people. I love broadcasting. I love doing stuff with videos. I have a channel since 2006. That should give you a clue, you know, and... I didn't need it for the money. I did it because I loved it, you know, because uh, I've had my own business for years and then I worked for companies and I still did it. Another thing that I wanted to make a point was this new series that I started was created because I get a lot of interaction with mothers of ROGD girls. And the thought process was if we can make womanhood appealing and let them realize how wonderful it is to be a woman, that they wouldn't want to venture into the waters of thinking there's something they're not. And at the same time, killing two birds with one stone, I could try to get those people to think that they're a woman, that there's no possible way for them to be one. Because it's just impossible. You could do whatever you want, but that doesn't make it so. So whatever theory that I'm trying to convince myself, or what, I don't know, what the heck, you know, you people sit there and you conspirize all sorts of stuff about why I do what I do. If you would ask me, I would very gladly tell you. There's no hidden agendas, there's no hidden motives, there's no nothing. It's just the thing that I've done for the longest time. I'm a teacher as part of what being an occupational therapist is all about. We're educators. We teach people who lose function how to regain their function. And we break the activities to the point where it's step by step by step so we could teach the unable bodies to be able bodies. It's in my nature. It's in my DNA. It's who I am. You may not like it, but you know what? I don't really care. So, yeah. Um, hot weather. Really challenging, but it's all part of pushing yourself as a human being. When you want to accomplish something, it's not going to happen by you sitting on your air. You have to do it um, and, and sweat a little and fight the, the discomfort a bit, you know, whatever it is that you got to do, you got to do. 
So that's always been my motto, you know. Um, contrary to popular belief, I'm not a lazy person, far from it. I'm just a very smart person and, and, and have been used to having my own business for a very long time. I refuse to be just a cog in the wheel. And I can make a living doing what I do and have, having my passion fulfilled, then why not? You know, it's like, what, go flip burgers? I mean, not to put anybody down that does that. Everybody's got to do what they have to do. But, you know, I'm a 57-year-old woman. I'm not some spring chicken. I'm not going to sit there and, and hard labor when I have the ability and the talent to do all sorts of different things. Plus, I have a degree that allows me to put forth programs to help people achieve certain goals. And that's what I do. So it's none of your business. So anyway... I'm going to hop in the shower. I'm like that close. I've gotten a, a heat stroke. It's like when you run and the sun's hitting the back of your head and then your hat's all wet and it's like a weird sensation that you get back there. Oh, goodness gracious. Getting older is a, a challenging feat as well. Um, something that we all have to get used to. And, you know... I'm grateful, though, that for my age, I, I still function well. Aches and pains. Shoulders don't work that great. My back is messed up, but I'm moving. I'm moving, and I'll never stop moving because when you stop moving, that's when you stop. All right, guys, I love you, but remember to always love yourselves, too. Let's see what critique we'll have for this one. You know, it's like I just wish that I was as petty as all of you so I could just criticize every single thing that you guys do. I would have a ball because there is so much to break down. But it's like, I'm not going to waste my time on that. There's, I have other fishes to fry. Bye-bye, guys.